Hey, today we've got another uh, do-it-yourselfer project. JBL L110. So uh, the owner had done the suspension replacement themselves. One of those was was coming loose in several spots. I've got it over on the bench. I've I've realigned it and re-glued it. Now I'm going to overcoat that edge. But in the process, um, you know, we knew the buzz was coming from the loose suspension, which is not uncommon for the, the do-it-yourselfers when they don't cut the dust cap. It's part of the problem. But in the in the process, we noticed this mid-range on one cabinet, the mid-range wasn't working. All right, so we pulled the mid-range and tested it, and it works okay. Now notice, I don't know if you can see this in this light, but six screws here in the back. That's what holds the crossover in. So, and by the way, this, these cam locks on several different models of JBLs, this is probably one of the worst connectors ever designed by anybody. I always replace these connectors when I do this work with binding posts because these connectors the plastic breaks and once that plastic cracks the cam doesn't grab the wire anymore oh and by the way if you have these connectors don't put tinned wire don't tin your speaker wire put bare copper wire in there otherwise it will split for sure alright so we pulled the network I mean, you've got to cut some of these wires to get enough slack to get it up here on top of the box like I've got it. So, pull the network, and because I'm going to recap this anyway, I'm going to replace these five capacitors. So, I checked the mid-range, it's working. Now, I know I've got signal. I've got my amp meter shows I've got signal. I've got the woofer out, obviously. We're not going to hear that. And I've got tweeter. So, I know I've got signal coming through the crossover. So, I'm going to recap it anyway, and I could just go ahead and do that. But I'm wanting to troubleshoot the reason why there's no mid here. It's possible this pot's bad. I've seen that happen. On the JBLs, though, it's more common... Like to see an inductor fail, especially if it's come loose from the hot glue. But the inductors, when they do fail, they'll fail, they'll break right where they take the first bend. And a lot of times you can't even see that. You're looking right at it, it doesn't look like it's broke. So you have to troubleshoot that. But my first step, I'm just going around here and banging on these caps a little bit to see what I got. And, and I didn't get any any change by shorting across these caps. Let me say I'm going to change them anyway. So I started on the resistor bank and I, I could identify and trace the the uh, circuit here and make sure which one is which but it's faster just to bang through them here so I take a just a clip lead. See so far nothing. This last resistor here. Oh look at there mid-range okay so I'll verify this resistor is bad with my meter but this resistor is 2.5 ohm here's a 1 ohm resistor and there it is okay so I'm gonna recap this the inductors will they're almost always good occasional failure but usually that's when they come loose from the board but this 2.5 ohm resistor is bad. all right and that's rare but it does happen so in this case recap and then change out that resistor put it all back together will be good JBL L110s, this is a really, really nice sounding speaker. Uh, they're not high up on the collector's list. They don't bring the big money. But if you get a chance to get into this, I, I know people that have bought these for 10 bucks. When the uh, edge deteriorated, people said, well, just throw it away. Um, 
But this pair in good working order, new suspension, new capacitors, you know, you'd have to pay a thousand bucks to get a speaker system to sound this good. So, anyway, good luck with uh, your L110.